All right, guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be jumping in and checking out this game, uh, The Infected. Now, I played a, like maybe an hour or two of this game uh, a while back. It was way before any updates. Uh, we did like a little preview. I think it was on my maybe my 50K stream. Um, I don't I don't really remember what it was, but we didn't make it very far. Um, and I, I decided, yeah, you know, we'll check this game out later on down the road at some point. And uh, we never really got around to it, so I figured, hey, we got, we don't really have a survival game going on right now, so I figured, hey, let's sh just check it out. Uh, I heard that recently, within the past few months, there was a really, really big update that was dropped on the game, uh, kind of reworked the game, which I guess in in uh, you know in hindsight, it, it was a, for a good thing. I guess we put the game off because now we get to check it out. Uh, but this is pretty much gonna be a brand new survival. I literally just loaded up the world. I had to make sure the audio and everything worked out. I just loaded in and I paused the game. I have no clue what we're doing, uh, but if you guys want to see more of this, hey, just smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, we'll 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 keep it going, guys. And get this over here. All right, but yeah, like I said, uh, let's let, let's jump in and do this. All right. So um, I'm gonna tweak my sensitivity really quick. Uh, okay, um, so, uh, this menu over here that's behind me, let me actually move myself this side. This menu that's behind me, or was behind me, uh, we got stamina, looks like food, water. Uh, now this, I don't know if this game has like an in-depth eating system, kind of like a greenhouse. I see like meat, I see fruit, then I see like cheese and something else. Okay, so. We'll look around really quick. Now I see this vehicle. Looks like it can be re repaired. So materials needed: uh, two iron ingots, uh, ten screws, four tires, and a gas a can of gas. Okay, so I just added that tire to that. Look at that, guys. Uh, Dustin, I'm doing good. Doing good today. Uh, so we found some corn seeds. So let me see, what do I have on me? I have medicated bandages, regular bandages, and a lighter. So my main goal, obviously, right off the bat, is going to be food, water, shelter. Oh, Rachel, how you doing? I got some forest vibes here. All right, Let's see something out here. What's oh, a frog? Can I catch it? Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, did I do I start off with a shield? Player's armor, so I don't have any armor on. Uh, technologies, craft. So is there like a crafting menu here? Okay, so this is what we have for food and stuff. So I do have a beef stew and uh, five flasks of water. All right, so we, we, got, we got some figuring out to do here, guys. Got to figure out how to get a weapon. Let me search this building that we spawn next to. Rachel, how you doing? It's kind of like Scum, just not as intense. Got you. I actually never played with Scum's new system. Uh, I know there's a lot of stuff that got added to that. I'm not getting this building. 
Well, Rachel, how you doing? Dustin, I'm doing good, brother. Doing good again, man. Anderson, how you doing, bro? It's good to see you, man. Okay, so you can search. Hmm. So we're going to have to definitely start managing our inventory, though. We'll get another tire. Now, uh, the screws and all that stuff, it's probably going to take a little bit to get this vehicle up and running, but... Do they just have all the resources to build the vehicle here in this in this building? Yeah, look at that. My inventory is quite full. Base. All right, let's go out. Uh, let's go deposit the stuff into the the vehicle. Okay. So now all we need is two more tires and then, then the 10 screws. But I don't know... We found this in mechanical parts here. Can we craft on advanced workshop? We got more fuel. Let me see here. Uh, let me go grab that rope. I want to. I, I don't know any of the crafting recipes, and I didn't see a menu for them. So I don't. Is it like Minecraft where you gotta like? Kind of just put shit together and figure it out. Let's see. There is a menu for it. So I've seen the build menu here, but this is for like building and crafting. I don't see a menu. Oh, Itempedia, here we go. Yeah, so I could do a stone axe here. A stick and a small stone. Uh, stick, small stone, and a rope will get us a stone hammer. Uh, stick and a rope times three will get us a bow. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so let's do the stick and the stone. I could also do a stone blade. Or a stone axe. So we'll do a stone axe. And then... We'll probably do the stone hammer too for building purposes. hammer and then we'll save up all right I would love to see if we can get more resources to get this vehicle up and run that would definitely make the beginning of the game a lot easier for me uh what happened with Red Dead Redemption uh like I told you guys before when we started that um, I had no intention on doing a full playthrough of the game again um, that it was just going to be a couple episodes and, and we were just going to have some fun. And I even went over what I planned on doing. So, I mean, obviously, I, I'm not against playing more of it, but I, I really didn't have any intention on replaying the whole game. That would just be really, really redundant. And um, that's why I didn't... We're not playing it as consistent. 
All right, so now we just need the screws, guys. Yeah, I definitely should have got a freaking spear made up, too. That would have been nice. But we got this, like, shield thing. All right, so all of the tires were here. The, the screws have to be here, too, man. It seems like all the ingredients to craft this thing were here. Ah, oh, Sebastian, I'm doing good, man. Oh, is that a pumpkin? I'll go see what that is. What the fuck is that? Oh, I thought that chicken was coming at me. Alright, yeah, so now we just need ten screws, which, let me check the item thing here. So to craft screws, you need copper ingots. So I don't highly doubt that's what we're going to do. They have to be in here somewhere. Give it one more look-see. Go out and loot some oh corn plant. Okay, so water's going down relatively quick. Uh, so I'm gonna, I don't know if sprinting is uh, adding to that and making it worse. Is there a map? There is. So we're way down on the bottom of the map here. So that's our task right now is to repair that. There we go. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fucking pumpkin, guys. Can I can I eat it? Is the question. Uh, so we harvested it for seeds, but we didn't get any food out of it. Which, oh, hold on. Here we go. Yep, pumpkin slice. We got corn here. So we're, let's go ahead and drink this. Okay. Now, I don't I don't really want to use the stone axe as a weapon, so let me see about getting a uh Damn, if we would have used one of them iron ingots, chat, we could have freaking crafted a katana. But I guess fixing the vehicle is probably way more important. Uh, stone spear, we need five plant fibers, three sticks, and a stone blade. Oh man, there's like uh, food all over the place. I don't know if there's specific plants that you have to farm for fibers. Or maybe you need a maybe you need a stone blade to farm them. Is there a table in the lighthouse with this? 
I checked that lighthouse. I didn't see any screws. It was this, but yeah, there was nothing on it. Uh, you get fiber from trees? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Heavy swing right there. Bark chips. Wooden logs. Plant fiber right there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we got plant fibers, sticks, and I have the spearhead. Uh, how many of these did we need? Was it not three? Five. But the thing is, you actually have to put, like, the exact amount, or it doesn't register it, is the recipe. What the hell did I mess that up again? Three sticks. Damn it. I don't know if there's like a quick way to like do it, but we gotta just do it like this right now. Split five of those. So now we got a stone spear. I checked the containers on the second floor. Yeah, we I didn't I didn't see any screws up there either. Yeah, we completely uh Search this building. I checked all of these. Nothing on these tables. Nothing around here. When I came up top, I looted this out. We looted that out. There's nothing on the bed. I looted the uh, the trash bags there, and I got. The mechanical parts out of it, but no screws. Came down here, there was nothing on this table, and then there was two tires sitting up against the wall right there. And that was all I've I found in here. Yep, and I looted the garbage bags out. Around the perimeter here. Nothing. There's nothing on here. There's nothing in there. There's a vehicle down here we could go check. Now, the uh, infected that you fight in this game, I believe, are vampire-zombie hybrids, right? There's some good stuff here. Not what we're looking for, though, fortunately.
nothing really up here. Yeah, there's base building for sure. Uh, you can stay wherever you want. Yeah, Lady X, this is like one of those open... It's kind of like, you know, Seven Days to Die or like uh, The Forest. It's one of those open-ended like survival games where you could technically build and do whatever you want, wherever you want. Um, at least I think. Uh, right now, I was trying to get this vehicle up and running though, but yeah, there really is... Can't find these damn screws, so we might have to push forward and uh, figure out the screw. Oh, there's a deer inside there. I wonder if I can get it now that it's trapped. Be good food. Damn it. All right, so let's head back down the road here. On this table in the lighthouse. They must be microscopic, man, because talking about this table. I get I get they might be hard to miss, man, but that would make them pretty fucking invisible. Oh, it's bugged. Oh, well, let me oh, let me see. Can I uh? Yeah, I'll restart. So I, I got hit with a rare bug where the screws don't spawn. Tracking. Because, yeah, we found most of the stuff to get that vehicle up and running, but I couldn't find the screws. Let's go ahead and see if they're there. Yeah, man, I just got all that stuff crafted, too. Oh yeah, they're there now. All right, let's get this vehicle up and running. Then we'll go around. We'll get our basic weapons and stuff crafted up again. I rolled a one there. that this vehicle has uh, some storage on it. That'd be nice. Okay. Need the uh, iron ingots, right? Yep. That's not what was in there last time. Yeah, 
in one more tire. Beautiful. Now, I don't know how much... Boom. There we go. Uh, okay, so there was a little bit more fuel inside here. Let's go grab that. Get in there. I don't think there was another can upstairs, but I'll check real quick. Oh, okay, so we got two little fuel cans. I don't know how far that's going to get us, but... Add gas. Or is it already full? Oh, I think... Okay, so I think it's already full. Alright, so let's get this stuff in here. I'm trying to, like, shift-click. I don't think there's, like, a shift... Oh, you, you can't shift-right-click. Stuff into the inventory. Alright, so let's go around, get our base weapons done up. Yeah, so yeah, as soon as you repaired it, it got, it got uh, fully re uh, fueled up, which is cool. Because you do spend a gas can to repair it, so. Oh, shit. Just the dead seagull there that I harvested. Pumpkin here that we can harvest. So we got stone axe done. Make this into a blade. Get our plant fibers going. So that gave us, this is these bushes that give us the sticks, I believe. Yep. Uh, how much do sticks stack up to in it? So you can stack them up to five. Okay, so they stack up to five. Does anybody know if there's a quicker way to, uh, like, separate things in a stack for crafting, or you just gotta split it? Okay, so there we go. So we got a spear, we got an axe... Let me see. Is there a way to craft rope? With plant fibers, maybe? Yep. Awesome. You can get a uh, bow and arrow.
Didn't it say two items make a uh, rope? Oh, press Alt. That will shift over one. Ah, look at that. Yep. Or was it three? Okay. It's trying to make rope, but, uh... It won't make, I don't know, maybe you gotta make it on a, um, a workbench or something. Cause I know there is different kind of benches in the game, so I'm thinking maybe you gotta make it on a workbench. Ah, uh, James, welcome, welcome, how you doing? IR, what's going on? So we got to find a place for a base. Um, it's a good rhyme. I was thinking about maybe getting up into the uh, the map a bit. Somewhere with water, like right here, like this island with the lake around it. That looks like a nice spot. There's also a little lake right up here near this X. I'm thinking that's where I want to go. We'll follow this road. Check these vehicle wrecks too. Oh, so is this the X's are cave locations? Okay. Yeah, it's telling me to look for a suitable place to build a base. That's what I'm going to do right now. Am I going to try Armored Core again? Yeah, I mean, why not? It all just depends on uh, the viewership, though. Because uh, the first episode did very, very well just due to the fact that it was a brand new game and people were curious on what it was. Is that a raccoon? Um, spoiled food? No. Biofuel? Yes. Let's take that. An iron ore. Uh, but yeah, the first episode did very, very well just because everybody was super curious on what the game was. And then the second episode, as you can see... Um, kind of died off a, a bit and then it kind of continues to do that so i generally just uh th that that's where i'll have to dictate you know is the game gonna do well enough for me to continue to stream it it's just we're just gonna have to kind of see uh it takes time store all this stuff so this vehicle actually has some really decent storage Okay, so this was the first left, right? We're, we're gonna stay to the right here, and we're gonna take the second left. So I don't know what these cave locations are all about. Take another left when we get up there. Assault, how you doing today, man? Thank you so much for the gifted, brother. And holy crap, guys, already over 200 likes on the stream. I really appreciate it. We're out here surviving. We're not thriving yet, but we're surviving. 
Harvest some more pumpkin. I'll actually, uh... Let's see, how are we looking on food? We're doing alright. Obviously, once we can get a bow and arrow and stuff going, we can do some, some hunting. Get some protein in our diet. Oh, skull and bones? Yeah. I was going to sign up for that, but I, I had so much shit going on, and then um, then I got the whole Assassin, uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage thing going, so I just didn't want to get my plate too full. You guys don't know, um, I, I, I talked about it the other day on another stream, but Ubisoft actually gave me the go-ahead. I can't give you guys any details or when or what, but um, uh, I will be actually doing a... Uh, a playthrough of Assassin's Creed Mirage. Not a full playthrough, but I, I, I get to go play test the game. Um, the hell? I wanted to harvest it. Uh, so I get like a early access like preview. I can't stream it or anything like that. Um, but Ubisoft is allowing me to, uh, to play it. I'll be putting out a video. I get to record my footage or whatnot. Um, I get to chop it up and make a little, you know, review of what my, like, what I think of the game or whatever. So, I'll be working on that next month. I, uh, I'll try to get that guys out to you. But, uh, you guys know I'm not a very good video editor, so <laughs> that's going to be interesting. Uh, Michael, the five gifted brother. Well, thank you so much, dude. Yeah, so... Generally, you guys know me. I don't like to play games before they come out. So I like my I like my first time playing it to be with you guys. But this was such a great opportunity that they offered me. I was like, I can't really turn it down again. Like I've turned Ubisoft has offered me a couple things, um, and I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to spoil my. But this was pretty huge. So I was like, you know what? Let me. You, you keep saying no to everything they ask you. Eventually, they'll stop asking you for things, you know, or stop offering things to you. So, we went ahead and we jumped on it. I didn't do it with Starfield, though, no, guys. I kept my... my I, I didn't play Starfield. Okay, so we got this spot here down by the water. It's relatively flat. Um, what do you guys think? Got trees. Got some overhead cover here. I don't know if this sun exposure is a thing, because if you guys see my sun meter... Right, yeah, we'll build here. We'll build here. So let me let me uh see what we could do. So I don't know if I should just start with like a building or should we just build like on the ground, you know. I don't know if you could build like tents or whatnot. Let me see. So what does this say? Then craft and place a claim pole to start current construction. Okay. So what do we need for a claim pole? Let's start with that. Claim pole.
or land claim pole. Okay. So we got that done. Um, okay, so this is the uh, the task list uh, that it shows you. It teaches you how to gather stone, gather sticks, um, craft stone axe, craft stone blade, which we already did, plant, um, build a saw bench. Build a water basin, play, place it outdoors to accumulate rainwater, a perfect early game way to getting hydrated if no other water source is nearby. So that's what we're going to start with here because I already got all this stuff done. Um, except that we didn't do a stone blade. Oh, we did do a stone blade, stone pickaxe. Okay, so we'll start with the crafting of stone pickaxe. Check the coverage you get for your... How do you do that? Wow. That's huge, man. Uh, go closer to a cave. I promise uh, you will regret it if you don't. Wait, are, so are the caves where they want you to live? Or is the caves where the monsters are? resources i mean i i live right next to a cave yeah we got one uh right down the road okay yeah yeah we got a cave right down there then that's cool all right so let's get the building guys we got to do a stone pickaxe first so we need stick, stone blade, two plant fibers. How many sticks was it, actually? One stick, one stone blade, two plant fibers. There go. Now, let's look at doing the... I think it was the saw bench, right? So, we'll get all my workbenches over here for right now. Saw bench. So this just takes four wood logs. So I don't know if, uh, if stuff like comes out at night or what in this game, but we definitely want to make sure we're uh, we got somewhere to sleep by the time the sun goes down. Will this be a long series? Uh, it all just depends on viewership. Yeah, I mean, if you guys are enjoying it, we'll keep it going for sure. Uh, this was a game I've been interested in trying out for a while now, so... I played Seven Days to Die on the channel. Yeah, we, we did a pretty... Pretty long playthrough of it. Uh, just recently, actually. Okay, let's see here. So now what was the next thing on our list? 
uh, water basin, right? Now this is like a rain collector, I'll take it. Chemistry, construction. Sounded like a war. I don't know if there's any like predator animals in this game. There we go. Water basin. It's literally just. Probably do multiple of these, right? Like at least two. Okay, so these both need six planks. I don't know how long this takes. Okay. That's not too bad. I might want to do more, maybe like two of those. Especially because we're going to be doing some heavy building. I don't know. My opinion, at least. I feel like I should probably do two of them. Yeah, I'll be streaming more games today. Of course. Uh, we'll be do we'll actually be uh, streaming some Evil West. I don't want to cut down all the trees because I don't want to make it super, super sunny here. Because uh, it seems like sun exposure is kind of a thing. So we'll just cut down some of the trees to make room for uh, a building. Damn, that was a lot of logs. So we got a decent bit of planks here. Five, six. Nice. So uh, it's going to start collecting rainwater right away. So is this a game where it actually has to rain in order for you to collect water? That's freaking perfect, man. Minus the fact that I might be getting cold, I, I don't know. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, so we could start off building a foundation. You know what? I'm not going to be a, a hermit this time. We're, we're actually going to build something right off the bat. It does need a rain for you to get water. That's okay, cool. Man, look at these already busting at the seams. I don't know if you can just drink water out of the lake, too. Some really nice. 
nice rain sounds though. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, you, you, I don't know how to drink from here, though. I don't think you can. Nice! So we just did some hunting. That's a big boar. I just didn't want to mess with it and it, it like actually shred me. Okay, so let's see. Build. So it doesn't seem like overly aggressive. It didn't come at me or anything. I think we'll start off with something small like that, okay? I mean that I that that might be a little too big for my for my blood, but Um, I heard that there is fishing in the game. I've seen a fishing pole, too, in the crafting. Like I said, I, I just want to get this camp set up. I don't know how long until the night time's going to roll in. And what dangers that might bring with it. You guys don't understand this is a big deal for me um generally in survival games like this i never build like a legitimate base right away i'm always super slack and i like start off like building on the ground and and then i like slowly will upgrade later on
Stone Axe is at about half health. about that boar there. store this saw. Uh... What do I do to make my food and stuff go away? There we go. I don't mind that it's not there. I just wanted to make figure out how to make it come back. There we go. Okay, so that's nice and built up. Now we'll go ahead and do up some walls. Start with wooden door frame. Boom. couple window walls here definitely got to have a window wall in the back all right go and then You have to probably have the ship built before you can put it down, right? So let's work on the walls first. Um, only thing is, it's about to be really dark. And I don't know about like a campfire or something like that. Here we go. Campfire. Okay, so I got, we need small stones. Ew, it is so dark. Now, can you sleep at night in this game? Okay, maybe like a bed? Yeah, we could do a bed. That's pretty cheap, only six planks. Oh yeah, look at that, you can sleep through the night. Your, your food and water and shit goes down. So we'll wake up, 6.30 in the morning. All right, perfect. So you don't have to suffer through the night. Time to get some chicken. Let me see. I, I did get some meat from that frog. Yeah, raw meat here. Spoils in. Okay, so you gotta you gotta be quick because your food does go bad. Okay, 
so that, that, that pumpkin really didn't do a whole lot for me. Um, now that I got this pickaxe, though, I think we can go ahead and... Maybe mine some stone? So now we just got to figure out, though, uh, so we got to, there, there is weight in this game. Yep, so we're over by one pound. Um, we got to figure out how to make firewood, which I'm wondering if you could just craft a log into firewood. Should put a door on the back so you can go out on a dock over the water and do some fishing. That is a beautiful idea. Yeah, like right here. That is a beautiful idea. I don't know why I clicked that. Beautiful idea. So I'm going to try to see if we can uh, get firewood from logs. Yep. And there we go. So you harvest the log. Oh, well, logs also harvest into... Uh, In the sticks, too. Okay, so we need eight firewood. Yeah, we finished Bioshock Infinite. One more firewood, and that's all set. Actually, take these logs over there, too. Uh, we need them for our doorway here. Nice. Oh, so you could boil dirty water. Uh, looks like you can cook meat um so we got to figure out how to use this damn thing so i'll take it i just use my lighter maybe or do we need to put t i wonder if we need to put tinder on there yep okay so you add tinder got a whole stack of that i wonder if you could probably use sticks too right Yep, so you can put sticks in there. And I got a bunch of this, uh, the tree bark, so definitely use that. There we go. So we got a bunch of tinder in there. And then I believe, what, you just light it? Perfect. Now we got this little piece of meat here cooking. Uh, Chris with the 19 months, brother. Thank you so much. 
On 99.8, uh, okay, subscribers, you and your family deserve everything you've done in the last few years. Lots of respect. Keep up the bringing and cheering videos coming. I appreciate that, Chris. Hope you're having a great day, man. Oh, got some cooked meat. So we, we got obviously that that little frog didn't do a whole lot for us, but uh Now I wonder is the rainwater Oh my well, is the rainwater considered dirty water? Yep, it is. So once I go and I scoop that into our flask then I can come over here to the campfire. We can actually do a couple trips. Get that bucket completely filled. Gotta get a step or something right there. Basins really hold a decent bit of water. And we'll have over three canteens worth of water. Cooked up. There we go. So yeah, now we got that boiling up. If we see any uh, wildlife around here, we'll definitely try to get... A kill if we can. Cucumber plant. All right, let's get to work on these walls. Uh, so logs and planks. It's the name of the game, chat. It's the name of the game. Let's do all the logs first. Um, can you build more flasks? I I don't know. Um. Definitely have to we would have to check. I don't see why not. Or maybe even like a bigger drinking container. Yeah, they have a large flask that can hold up to 200. It takes uh, aluminum ingots. Yeah, so you need aluminum if you wanna if you want the big one. What are these walls? Or planks? Okay, it's all the same. Try to split the load, do two at once. Long trips here, guys, to get some logs. We're gonna have the whole damn rainforest cut down here in a sec. Another frog up there.
and a chicken. And a goat? Yep, there's a whole goat over there. Alright, so that part of the wall is done. Get this up. So obviously this is just the beginning survival part of the game. You take your time, you get your shit set up, and then it just makes it so exploring and going out later in the game is much easier. A lot of people, they're, they're such in a rush to like get out and explore and see things that they don't take care of the, the initial survival bits. And, um... You end up screwed over. Never have nothing to drink, you never have nothing to eat. But if you just take, you know, the beginning of the game, this is this is what I always do. When I first started a game, food, water, shelter. <laughs> uh, I dropped my gun. Uh, we just started. I mean, right now it's, you know, it feels like... Any survival crafting game we've played before, um, which is not saying that's a bad thing at all. So it definitely is pretty decent so far. So far, the uh, food and water collection and stuff like that is pretty straightforward. I like the food and water collection in this game a lot better than like Seven Days to Die, that's for sure. Um, so it's, it's pretty straightforward right now. Uh, these benches are pretty cool. Okay, this axe is almost on its last leg. I made I made some pretty big bases in Ark. Yeah, well. Yeah, I never made, like, a little survival shelter in Ark. No, nah, but because there was, like, dinosaurs and shit trying to eat me. Yeah, does anybody know what button you press to bring your meter back up? Because, uh... Whoops. So I lost my, uh, my meters. This game actually feels a lot like the beginning of Ark. <laughs> Going around collecting sticks and stones. <laughs> Click on the pole. No, I meant like my food and stuff that was over on the other uh, on the other side of the screen. I don't know how to toggle that back on. Somehow I toggled it off. Yeah, I, d I do got to build some storage. I just want to get the walls and stuff done. We want to get, we got to, I want to get the uh, base actually secure.
Chris, how you doing? Of course, one flank. G. Oh, there it is. Yep. That brought it back up. So let me actually go fill my water back here. Pick up the cooked meat. There we go. Just like that. Now. Is there a way to put the fire out? So we don't just like waste fuel. Maybe put water on it. Yep. Okay. That's how you do it. Just literally pour a little bit of water on it and it'll go out. Get some more uh, planks going here. Now, is there any other vehicles in this game? Like bigger vehicles? Or is the ATV <laughs> it? I know, what was that other game we played there? The Mist? That one had a uh, like some pickup trucks and shit you could drive. Oh, you can build a log cart? Oh, well, that would have that would have been nice. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's carting these logs, man. It's a, a little bit of a pain. Hi, Mr. Smith. How you doing? Oh, hi, Four. Everything's good, man. It's good to see you. Boom. Okay, so let me see if I can do something about this the step up here. Stairs. Yep. So what do we need here? A few logs and some planks. Yeah, that'd definitely be nice to get my hands on a freaking pickup truck. Uh, obviously, we'd have to. We gotta find tires and and all the stuff to get. I'm pretty sure if it's the same thing, we gotta like get it repaired. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a process. So, Beautiful. So now we can walk in. Uh, now we got to get a door. A wooden door, glass door. So we have to go with wooden door. Snap for like half a second there. Oh. Here. I don't know why I gotta stand at like a weird angle to get it to snap. Okay.
And then this will be our like fishing area. We'll put like a we'll build like a dock or something back there. Alright, so now that we got this done, uh figure out some storage. That door is really loud. Alright, so now we gotta figure out just some storage options. Oh, we got a container storage here, garbage container, weapons rack. What if there's guns in this game? I didn't see any like craftable guns. Okay, so we're just gonna have to start off with some just regular storage containers. So allow me to empty out my uh some exposure's okay. We'll be able to empty out our ATV. No guns. I mean I I yeah, gun, the oh, my thing broke. It doesn't really bother me all that much. I'm uh As long as I get like a bow and arrow or some kind of crossbow type of deal. That's all I need. Let me see. So. Somebody said there was a log sled? Yeah, the log cart right here. We need 10 nails, though. Yeah, I plan on going looting in the towns. I just wanted to get uh, this basic stuff set up, and then we're gonna we're gonna go out and it's I need storage so I can empty my ATV, and then we'll have a full inventory that we can go out looting with. Uh, right now my e ATV is full of crap, so. Oh, no, yeah. You know what? Yeah, we could get another saw bench. Not a bad idea. I place these saw benches backwards. Yeah, now I can drop all three logs instead of having to stand and wait. I can drop three, run back, drop three, run back. Yeah, the roof. Uh, Gracie with the five months. Thank you so much, and I appreciate you guys. We already got over 400 likes on the stream. Uh, it's really huge. Five fragments make uh, an ingot. Yes, boom, boom, boom. And by the time we come up, grab another stack of three and make it down. Should all be ending. Boom, boom, boom. This is efficiency right here, guys. But um, I'm thank you for the six months. I appreciate you. Check the starter checklist. Yeah, the next thing on this checklist is uh, to build a forge, and then we can start doing ingots. But I, I haven't even got my base finished yet. <laughs> it's 
stamp. Is the table powered by invisible Kelvins? <laughs> So, so far it's been pretty chill. We haven't had to deal with anything trying to kill us, which is always nice. Yeah, that, that's the plan. Once the base is situated, we'll be able to go out and... Kind of see what the world's all about. here so now we just got to do our ceiling and our base is set for now again. Ozzy UK, how you doing? Okay, so we got all of the planks done. Store logs in the ATV trunk. Well, I actually have three nails right now. Oh, uh, Paul! Thank again. I want to thank you uh, for all that stuff you ended up sending, man. We we haven't got it yet because obviously the post office is closed today. But we'll be go pick it up and uh. We'll be doing that on the stream probably tomorrow, guys. We'll be doing the uh, 100K stream, I'm thinking. You can't put logs in? Okay, that sucks. So that's one chest full. Yeah, I don't need log storage. I just need I need a uh, log transportation. So right now I gotta I gotta hand run all the logs, which it is what it is. But once we get that log cart, hopefully we can get some nails. Um, that'd be nice. Quite a bit closer at these. Thank you. 
really, really uh, happy with the progress, though. I feel like we already got quite a bit built up. I mean, granted, it's just a little shack, but it's mine. It's my little shack. Here we go. Base is complete. Empty out my inventory here. And I got bandages, lighter. Uh, make sure our food and water is good. Fill the rest of my canteen here. So while we're out, we'll try to get our hands on a little bit more food. That was like a spotted frog. I, th I thought you weren't supposed to eat those. All right. So let's head out, guys. Uh, our fuel situation. Got some extra fuel here. Fuel tanks. Uh, a little over half. So where am I going to go? I don't see any towns on the map. This looks like rocks. Oh, they're not marked on the map. Okay, so then I guess we'll just head north here. We'll just kind of swing along this road here and see what we could see. We'll take a left. like the dead end road. I actually, we got a dead end right here. Yeah, go up, take a left, then we take our another left. Got a dead end right there. Obviously, I don't have a ton of fuel, so we can't go super, super far. Do I have a few spears? No, I have one. Should have freaking figured out how to craft a bow and arrow before doing this, but it is what it is. We're already out.
here. See some buildings. Something looks huge. What the fuck is that? It's a uh, empty can. Just found some meat. We gotta get a nice little garden going. On a splint. I did get another rope, so those can't stack. Let's go dump it. We'll come back and grab that rope there. I've never played Icarus, no. Should duke it out one of these dudes. Lead back, thank you, thank you for the super chat, man. Yeah, I, I'm thinking we're gonna do our uh, 100k celebration tomorrow. I'll be within 100, I believe. Which still puts us at a risk for not achieving it on the stream, but if we don't get 100k on our 100k stream, it's not the end of the world. And I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get relatively close, if not all the way. So we got some stuff. I wouldn't call the gear great. Icarus is extremely grindy. Yeah, I was, I've never played that. I think that was one of the reasons why I didn't jump into it was because people were saying that it was grindy.
Oh, what the fuck was that? Is he bowing? Yo, how are you supposed to fight more than one of those dudes? That was not easy. Icarus is worse than Ark? There's no way. The zombie was bowing. There's no way Icarus is more grindy than Ark. It really is worse. Yeah, you can't fix this vehicle. It's just, uh. So I, I could take him 1v1. I don't think we took a whole lot of damage. Our weapon took a whole lot of damage. As long as there's never a situation where you have to deal with hordes of those guys, I think it'll be all right. <laughs> I couldn't imagine trying to fight a horde of those dudes. Fragments. Cooked ribs. Watermelon. Like when I asked chat, how do you say watermelon in Spanish? And people literally said agua melon. I'm like, what did no? How do you really say it? Aqua melon. Like for, and it's not like, I, I can't, I, I've, I got a lot of Hispanic friends and you always ask them the same and it, but there's like an actual word for it. It starts with like an S or something like that. But they're always just like, oh, just like agua melon. No, I'm like, dude, how do you really say it? Look at that watermelon seeds. Uh, let's eat that. Yeah, send Cynthia. But do you guys actually use that term, Cynthia, or is there just another like? Is there another way that it's actually said? Like, okay, it's getting dark out. We don't want to be here. Paul, thank you for the gifted brother. I appreciate you, man. I don't have a light. That's why I'm, I'm trying to get the hell out of it. I didn't even realize how late it was.
Yeah, it's 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 real dark. Hoping this has lights. It does. It, not a bad haul, in my opinion. Um, I don't know how useful 90% of the stuff I got was, but we got a decent bit of food um, and a bunch of just things. And again, Paul, thank you for the gift, brother. I appreciate you, man. Now, when I did the settings for the, the game, it actually says that there's four seasons. So uh, you got to deal with like weather and getting cold and stuff like that. Uh, I definitely want to try to get some armor too on my, my character at some point. We got to get some armor crafted up. But we're going to have to... Uh... It's our leak right here. We're going to have to start getting some of those other benches crafted too. So I'll be able to get the bow and arrow crafted up tomorrow. We got enough rope. Grab some sleep. George, what's up, brother? How you doing? So we got plenty of food already done up. We gotta make sure we eat this crap before it goes bad. The eggs are good for a really long time. Gotta eat our stuff that's gonna go bad first, like this. I don't know if you can make like meals and stuff. Yeah, we got eggs here. I don't know if you can, like, craft with them. Let's get this cooking up. I'm gonna have to do it. I wanna do it. I'm gonna do another chest for food. We'll put it over here. So I can keep better uh, tabs on my actual food. Now, somebody in the chest said I had enough uh, nails to do the log cart. I thought it said it was like 10 nails or something. I got three. Yeah, it's 10 nails. I only have I only have three. Right, we got 10 screws, three nails. I don't think I found any nails on that this last trip.
Ready? So we already got to get some more storage. Now, granted, I, I probably got, like I said, a lot of crap that's not even 100% all that necessary, but... Oh, keep our spoiled stuff for biofuel. So that's probably what I'm gonna have to turn to for the for the vehicles, right? Some kind of biofuel. Yeah, because once you run out of gasoline, it is what it is, right? Uh, George, thank you for the gifted, brother. All right, so let's look at doing a furnace now. Um, uh, so you can do refrigerator, but it requires power. Uh, and for power, you could do like solar panels, battery, but you got to do some mining, which we got to go hit some caves for. Grinder. So I'll take it. We probably would need to start with the stone forge and then we can upgrade to like the brick forge. Oil extractor, um, clay soil, mineral extractor, oil pump. Holy crap. Oil distiller, greenhouse, waterhouse. Okay, uh, so let's go and get the, um, We'll start with the stone forge. <laughs> now this requires 25 stone. Some more. I gotta. I gotta build another. Uh, another chest too at some point. So they actually start you off with five of these beef stews. I didn't use any of them. Uh, I was able to get into the game and kind of get the ball rolling on food. So, uh, but if you are having a hard time on food, you, they do start you off with a lot of those. Let's go ahead and farm some stone here.
<laughs> when you break those, the stone really goes flying all over the damn place. So, we gotta build what seems a uh, fire down here? Yep. Okay, so we gotta feed that just like the other fire. Can the letter were only stacked at two? Yep. All right, so I have iron ore here. Um. So I mean, uh, take it. Maybe you can cook two ingots at a time, or ore at a time. So let's grab these iron ore out really quick. See if this is how this works. So I wonder if that two ore melts down into like one ingot. Pretty damn cozy in here, guys. And then, uh, I believe to start crafting things, we need this anvil, right? Can be crafted on anvil. On a workbench. Workbench. So, workbench and an anvil. We need, we need to get them nails. Let me see. Do nails need to be crafted on a anvil? Yep. So we got to do an anvil. Five iron ingots? Okay, so it, it, it is a little better than I expected. We got two ingots, one for each ore. But we got to go out and mine. Can you, you can just mine iron, right? We have a cave nearby. Can we go there and try to mine iron? Yeah, we got a cave nearby. Let's go check it. It's uh, down on the right side here. Oh, wait, you can't mine iron with a pickaxe? There's no way to find iron just like out in the wilderness.
problem is I don't know what the fuck iron even looks like. A lot of mushrooms. I should have grabbed the freaking torch or something, right? Is it this here? I didn't know. I thought this was just regular stone. That's why I didn't mine it. Lead. Shirley, how you doing? Oh, yeah, we got iron and lead from there. Okay. Yep. So iron and lead come from the same stone here. Got enough to build our anvil. Now I just want to grab a little extra iron. The actual crafting. It's clay. George with the super chat, man. Thank you, thank you. Lincoln Clay versus Mike Tyson. Um, I mean, if, if it was a fight with no rules, I think uh, Lincoln Clay would probably take the W there. That dude's an actual monster. There's a buck right there. Oh, fuck. What the hell was that? What's happening? The scorpion get, trying to kill me? Oh shit. What does that mean? Drink some water. Um, something's wrong with my legs, guys. Put on a band. Oh, put on a bandage. Okay. Medicated bandages. There. Damn, that was dangerous, man. What the hell? Okay, now we're not getting any iron. So watch out for the little scorpions in the cave. They're savages. Do any of the caves ever spawn uh, the monsters in the game? Damn, why are we getting no iron all of a sudden? We're only getting lead and stone. So weird. 
We're getting iron pretty consistently earlier. There we go. Okay, so it's cool because he's. Seem like they respawn. Oh, wait, you could turn stone into iron? Oh, what do you get, like, iron fragments from it or something? And then you can cook the fragments into bigger... <sighs> Yo, run out of bandages already. Can you just use a regular bandage? Nope. So the scorpions automatically give you, like, an infection. Five, five uh, fragments, or five stones gets you one fragment, and five fragments gets you one ingot. That That's pretty damn expensive, but not really. I mean, if you have multiple forges set up, I guess you could sit there and cook that up. I'd rather just take the time to go into the... Uh, into the cave, you know what I mean? I am thinking about crafting up an extra forge just to make this a little bit more efficient. We'll start with two for right now. Ever have one of those days with your kids where nothing you say or do is right? Oh, oh, all the time. Did we really just break our pickaxe? We did. Of course. Uh, the pickaxe was... Fiber, stone blade, and stick. So let's go ahead, we'll add this.
Make two big forges, ten stone. Can yeah, the big forges. Uh, I was uh, obviously, you know, that's goals, but those are quite, uh, quite expensive. Like the brick forge, you need dry brick and iron ingot. Uh, I don't even know how to do that. Um. So yeah, there, there's the bigger forges, but they're just out of our reach right now. So we're just we're using what we can we can get right now. That's how a lot of these early game survival games are. You start off with very inefficient ways of doing things, and then you know later on tasks that would take me ten years and a billion supplies and walking back and forth. You can knock out in freaking two seconds. Oh, what am I playing later, George? I was thinking about maybe trying uh, Evil West. I'm making uh, some good progress through games lately. It's feeling nice. Uh, game I haven't really heard much about so I don't know what to expect I know when it first came out a lot of viewers were asking me if I was going to play it uh, are you serious I put this sideways Yeah, a lot of viewers asked if I was going to play it, um, and then we just never did. But now I'm thinking about checking it out, seeing how we like it. So, uh, can we use coal as a... Yep. Wow, one coal fills up the whole thing. Of course it does. Boom. Boom, boom. Okay, so I actually would have liked a bit more iron than we have right now. We have hopefully enough to get what we need. So this is going to take eight planks and five ingots. So let's get those planks chopped up. I will be playing Starfield, uh, yes, uh, the day, the, the millisecond it's available for everybody, I will be playing it, uh, Monday night at, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. I'll be, uh, jumping on and playing it. Don't expect much from that night, because, oh, I mean, obviously, there's... There's going to be a lot of people playing Starfield, like... Probably every content creator under the sun is going to be trying to play it. Um, even people who don't like it, because it's just a hype game, so a lot of people are going to think, Oh, well, if I play this hype game, it's going to get me a bunch of, uh, like, buzz or whatnot, but... Generally doesn't work like that, um... But I'm just playing it because I'm excited for it, you know, it's going to be fun. For that reason and that reason only. Oh, I didn't turn the fire on any other forge? Of course I did. Yeah, there's going to be a lot, a lot of Starfield content dropping that day. But I will be watching none of it. Um, I'm literally just going to hold off and I'll wait to that night. And then we're just going to experience it all together. Those of you guys that do show up and uh, want to watch it, uh, we'll just be experiencing it together. Trying to figure out everything on our own.
Uh, I don't know where you heard that, Nazarino. Um, that Starfield is trash. Um, because I had the opportunity to play it. I didn't. Um, for the sake of my honor to you guys. But, uh, I know people that are playing it. And, um, yeah, that, that is absolute not facts. Whoever said that Starfield is trash is just trolling. Or they just don't like space games, I guess. Like I said, the only way you won't like Starfield is if just the genre isn't your genre. But, yeah, whoever said that is fucking bullshit. They'll probably get tens out of, ten out of ten from most reviewers. Okay, so that should you know what we'll do we'll do one more one more. Okay, so we got the anvil done. And I got three extra ingots to craft with now. So now we can come over. I actually like the crafting system in this game quite a bit. Uh, now, am I going to need a hammer, though, in order to craft nails? Wait, so am I only going to get one nail? Oh, I got 30 nails. So it's 10 per ingot. Okay. Then we could do the workbench here. We are getting a little hungry. Let's finish up this bench, though. Two more planks, and that's done. Okay, so now on here, I'm wondering if I could do the, the plant fiber thing. Whoop, what the hell? So, and if you want to craft rope, you got to craft it on this table. You can't craft it in your inventory. Do another... Somebody said you could stack storage chests. Get that. Uh, Quentin, what's up, brother? It's so good to see you. I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Uh, September's gonna be a crazy month. Oh, I wouldn't say it's gonna be all that crazy on the channel, George. Probably won't be any more crazy than normal. Um, 
Like I said, I don't I don't expect much. Uh, I, I feel like it's gonna be pretty normal. We might get a little bump in the beginning of the month from from Starfield if people are interested in it uh, on my channel at least. Because uh, like I said, there's gonna be so many other content creators covering the game um, that you know the chances of me standing out over some of those other guys is there's some big YouTubers out there, some guys who are really really good at what they do. Um, you know what I mean? Their content is way cleaner, way easier to digest. A lot of a lot of people don't like long form, unedited content that I like I put out. Um, so my content style is very very niche um, in comparison to like highly edited, you know, gameplay videos. So I I don't expect it to be all that crazy. turn these into oh first let's just do the bow and arrow first do the bow first see, what was it one stick three rope craft the bow Okay, so automatically went into our weapon slot. We're good with that. And then arrows. We got bone arrows and we got stone arrows. So for the stone arrows, we just need small stone, uh, feather, stick, and rope. I hope we get more than one arrow per craft because that's... Kind of expensive sounding, isn't it? Uh, tank I mean I completely agree man I'm not I'm not downplaying like my content style compared to others I'm just saying uh in the grand scheme of like everybody you know what I mean um there's a always going to be a bigger audience for the other type of content out there obviously I don't I, I prefer what I do I love what I do I love the viewers that I have um I like the way my channel's set up and granted, I know it's not for everybody. And if I wanted it to be for everybody, I would just change and I would try to be more like everybody else. But I, I, I do feel that what I do here is semi-unique um, and I enjoy it. And, you know, my viewers enjoy it. You, you all enjoy it. So uh, that's why I just continue to do. Like I said, there's plenty of things that I could do to optimize my channel or make things, you know, I guess more digestible for a wider audience. But that's not what I want. And that's not really what I care about. Um, like, obviously, you know, growing on YouTube and stuff like that's always a goal. But um, I feel like I, 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 I feel like we're doing okay. You know what I mean? I'm not in any position where I feel like I need to change anything. Now, in the future, obviously, if, if it just wasn't working out or, you know, I needed to change something, obviously, I might switch things up a little bit. Always because I'm always looking to get better you know what i mean I'll, I'll never just be like oh you know i'm good at where i am no i'm always looking to get better and improve um in some way shape or form but um like completely flipping what i'm doing yeah I'm not really. i think uh you know when, when you ch when you get as you get bigger you know things do have to change in some capacity um you know like before i used to be able to answer and rep reply to every single comment i would receive not i would only receive like 10 comments a, a, you know a day maybe uh i now get 300 comments 400 comments you know and I, I live stream all day so it's not like i just have time so i might have like 10 minutes after i'm done streaming to hop over and check my comments you know and i try to heart and skim and read through every single comment um 
just see what you guys are saying. But yeah, it's it, it's definitely tough. Um, and you know that was something I used to always. But oh, I'm, I'm I'm always gonna try to keep up with my. But it's, yeah, that shit's hard. You know. So as you grow, uh, expectations you have as a smaller content creator, things you do as a smaller content creator, um, uh, it changes once you get bigger and realize, oh, okay, well maybe this is why. You know these guys do it like this or maybe this is why you know they can't do this because yeah that's just, just impossible unless you just unless i just dedicated all day to answering comments uh then maybe but uh obviously I'd, i'm always streaming so most of my day goes to this here I'm gonna add one of those one of those one of those and one of those So what the hell is it? Okay. Yeah, so arrow, stone, rope, stick. So where do those go? Mosa, what's going on? How are you doing? Never want so your way is standard and everyone else does it different. <laughs> George, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, like I said, I mean, everybody has their own way to do things. You know, there's no right or wrong way to do it. Um, you know, I've, I've had people come into my channel and be like, oh, do this. And it's just like, no, you go do that. Like, if that's how you want it done, go do it yourself. Like, you know what I mean? I've had people try to tell me how to run my channel and... They don't even have YouTube channels, and it's just like, I don't know where the hell those arrows went, chat. I don't see them anywhere in my inventory. Oh, they went on the floor. Oh, it's because I don't have room in my inventory. Got you. It was one arrow, dude. That's expensive, man. I mean, not like super expensive, but it's pretty expensive. One arrow? I don't know why I expected so much more. And the, the crappy thing is you can't like why does that keep happening you can't like bulk craft it you gotta like put the recipe for each individual arrow maybe you can Craft maximum. Oh, you can. So you put the thing and then you hit craft maximum. All right, I'm tracking. Um, I could do some more rope up. So yeah, you put the you put the crafting recipe for the one on there, right? And then you just hit craft maximum, and then it will do all of it. So I can only do two more arrows, anyways, right now because I'm uh we only have two more feathers. But I'm hoping with the bow, that will allow us to uh, hunt some birds. Go. So I got eight arrows crafted. So we need to eat. It is a rewarding feeling, guys, when you're living out in the wilderness and it's raining outside and you're not in the rain.
<laughs> it's like as we're emptying it, it's filling. Nah, but yeah, it's 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 just been a it's been a great journey with you all, and like I said, I, I've been learning. Um, I am trying to get in a little bit more into like doing a a little more video content. Um, to go along with my live streams, just because uh, you know, if I want to take a day off or something like that, it's always a pain in the ass with the way YouTube does things. So it's like if I have some videos that I could drop while out on a vacation or something like that, keeps it it's just easier for everybody. So we'll let that go. So I don't know if you could just eat these mushrooms. Uh, does this game have an end goal? I have no clue yet. I don't even know what the main goal is, like, what we're supposed to be doing right now. Um, technology pages can be found randomly in POI bullets. So I think we gotta go hit POIs and look for technology. I don't have an editor. Um, that's actually one of the reasons why I don't get into video making, because I just don't have time to edit. Um, but the, the, the thing is, is, uh, any editors I've spoken to, um, uh, I just can't afford to pay them. They, they want, it's not like they don't deserve the money they want. Um, but you know, when an editor's like, Hey man, you know, I'll make you this video. And, and like, even if they want like a hundred, two hundred dollars to edit a video for me, it, it doesn't work out when I only make like $50 on said video, you know, if that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, so it, it's like, I, I could make a video, put it out, and then it only gets maybe 10,000 views or something like that, and I might make 50 bucks, 75 bucks, and you know what I mean? It just, so it just doesn't work. Um, I, I just can't afford it. And then I don't have the, the tech, the technique or skill to, to edit myself, because I have never done it, just due to my content style. So... I mean, I could spend a lot of time and edit, but that would also cut into streams and stuff like that. And I'd rather, uh, I'd rather just live stream. So, yeah, if they really do think you make a thousand, two thousand dollars per video. I, I actually had, a, I was working with this editor. Um, I did work with one before. He edited a video for me, um, sent me the, you know, the the thing. I put it out, and then the video came back, and he he did it for free. And the video came back, and you know, it was like a week or so. And I was like, hey man, um, he was like, how did the video do? I was like, you know, it did about average. And uh, he was like, did you make any money off it? And I said, yeah, man, I made like eight bucks. Legit, made like eight dollars, chat. <laughs> and um, he was like, eight dollars? And the dude didn't believe me because he was asking why I wasn't trying to work with him going forward. And I was like, listen, dude, I made eight fucking dollars, bro. Like, what, what do you want me to give you a portion of my eight bucks? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like I give you, I can give you two, three, two, three dollars, dude. But uh, the 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 only reason why I even am semi successful on YouTube is because mine's more about quantity. Like if I do ten videos, you know, in a in a quick period of time, and I make eight to ten dollars or fifteen, twenty dollars, you know what I mean? I can make, you know, off that video, I can make a hundred, hundred fifty dollars. You know what I mean? That's the only reason why I can afford to do what I do. Uh, it's bulk, you know, I just got to put out a lot of videos, uh, but yeah, it's just it, It's it's tough guys Because then you feel like a freaking asshole when these guys want to work with you like, Look, man, I just can't I just can't afford it dude. All right, so we're gonna go out and test this bow and arrow. I want to I want to see how well it is Now how do you load this damn thing? So it's not R. Oh, you need a quiver? Oh, so you can't just grab the arrows out your back? That makes sense. Uh, quiver. Let's see. What do we need for that? Animal hide and two rope. Well, that sucks. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go poke something with a spear. Uh, it's all good. I'll, I'll try to get one crafted up right now. Uh, we need one of these. This. Maybe I'll go. I'll try to go kill the goat or the or the chicken. One blade, three stick, five fiber. He pushed in the freaking windows tab instead of all. Uh, John, thank, thank you for the 19 months, man. So close to 100K. Don't forget to sub, like the content, keep up the great work. I appreciate it, man. I really do. Yeah, Regeneration Nation, man. Yeah, I mean, you know how it is, dude. It, it, it's 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 rough, man. It, it's really, really rough. A lot of people, you know, they, they, they just watch, you know, all the bigger YouTubers. And, you know, they see these guys with Lamborghinis and... And they think, oh, like, yeah, you're a YouTuber, you got tons of money. And it's like, no, dude. Like, I wish. I wish. Uh, but most of us, you just, you just make enough money to get by and do what you love, you know what I mean? I, I, the, I, you know, the guys that are, like, millionaires and shit, they're like... It's very, very, very few. Like, there might be, like, 1% of YouTubers that are, like, millionaires, you know what I mean? Ooh, there it is. <laughs> 8,000 a day, baby. You know, like, Timmy's probably out there making, like, eight grand a day. I'm going to chase the shit out this deer. Do you guys think we got it? Honor, baby. Our first kill with honor. Okay, so we can harvest it right here. Uh, we need a iron or stone axe to harvest. Beautiful. Let's see. So what do we get? A whole lot of not a damn thing. We not getting no animal hide from that? I don't know why I didn't, I didn't get no hide. Maybe because it was the game knew I was cheating. Just finished watching Floppy Sword live stream on Sunken Land, and this game is really good, actually. Check it out. Shout out to Floppy Sword. Oh, uh, Mosa, thank you, thank you, brother, for the super chat. I appreciate. It. I've never even heard of that Sunken Land. Now Floppy's a good dude. He really is. Oh, you need a skinning table. Oh, you got to kill it, and then, oh, damn it, that was a waste of a good kill, too, right there. Skinning table. So which one? Is it the food prep table or the butcher table? Ten iron ingots, though? I'll wash my hands. Oh, that's dope. Oh, it's the butcher tape. Yo, that thing is a million dollars, dude.
That's 10 iron. I mean, we can head back over to the cave. Uh, let me see. So what do I need to make more of those medicated bandages? So if I get stung by another scorpion, uh, we need tallow and plant fiber. Where the hell do you get tallow from? So you craft that animal benches using animal fat. Or that workbenches. I actually had some animal fat, didn't I? Bone shards. Yeah, right here I got oh I got one animal fat. I need two. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go back into the cave. It's the only way we're gonna make this even remotely work. Yeah, guys, um, uh, I w uh, I w we were just talking, if you guys weren't here earlier, we were talking about potentially doing the 100K celebration stream tomorrow. And I think instead of doing like a 100K celebration, we'll do like a, like a, I won't stop streaming until we hit 100K streams. Um, so I was thinking about maybe doing that tomorrow because we'll be within an achievable goal, I personally feel, within a day. Uh, let's see, how much do I have left on this pickaxe? Got a decent pit. Let's head over. I got. I gotta cook this or this meat will go bad. Seems like the meat stays good for a decent bit after you cook it. Claim gaming as your religion. You can claim tax exempt <laughs> on your income. <laughs> yeah, taxes are, are, are pretty brutal. Uh, I'm still, you know, trying to learn. So I've never done, I've, I've always, you know, had a job, like a real job my whole entire life. And, uh, I spent a lot of time, you know, in the military, doing things like that. So I've never, I've always just paid my income tax. Hold on one sec, guys. Uh, but yeah, I've always just worked a normal job, so I've always just, you know, paid my regular payroll taxes, you know, federal, state, and all that stuff, and then at the end of the year, did my income taxes. So, 
doing this, it's technically like your own business. So that was a whole new ball game for me to try to freaking learn. And um, my first like year, I really, really messed it up, and it was all disorganized. It's 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 quite quite ridiculous. So we should be good. I am a little worried about gas though, but I so the one gas can. Should be enough to completely fill it from empty, right? Yeah, I remember my first my first time because uh, when you when you get paid when you're doing YouTube, you don't pay any taxes throughout the whole year. Um, so say you make $20,000 for that year. Um, you don't pay anything on it. You just, that's just, you just take all the money up front. So uh, yeah, I've never, never been used to that. So you know what I mean? My, you go and you, uh, you take all this money and you go and you, uh, you spend it. I don't know what, oh, you know, how much do we got to put away for taxes? And I'm used to, like, getting a tax return at the end of the year because with all my kids, we got the Brady Bunch over here, chat. So, you know, I, we would go and file our income taxes. We'd get a couple thousand dollars every year. It was always so awesome. And then I remember my first year doing YouTube, uh, I went and I filed my taxes. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I owed the government, like, five grand and i was like oh what do you mean dude like what and then uh yeah I, I was caught off guard i didn't know what to do i was like yo we gotta we gotta pay them like five thousand dollars like they supposed to pay us <laughs> and um you know and then you learn about like the exemptions and 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 stuff like that and write-offs and shit but yeah, that shit was no joke. Yo, I'm not getting any oh, scorpion. Yeah, I had I had to start working with an accountant. I this year was my first year. Um, just a few months ago, we went and we we found a uh, a guy that we're working with. I was always scared to try to get like an accountant though, because like that just sounds expensive. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, I'm like, I, I got an accountant, and it's just like that. I was I never wanted to do it because I figured like accountants are for like rich people, right? You know what I mean? Like the only people that have accountants are freaking. People with a lot of money. And uh, I was actually surprised on how many people have accountants for tax purposes and things like that. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's just one. I'm, un I'm uneducated. You know what I mean, guys? It's just, that's all it comes down to. Certain things, stereotypes and, and shit like that. You know what I mean? It's just legitimately thought that you, that only rich people and people with a lot of money had accountants. Let's go sort of. Uh, <laughs> Yo, we are getting close to no iron, guys. I think I've got, what, two? These scorpions are actually quite dangerous. Uh. 
Oh shit, there we go. Ugh. Oh, I think that means I'm bleeding. In mob bosses, yeah. <laughs> mob bosses. Mob bosses and rich people. Check a different cave. I mean, we got two full pieces right now because you got to think how much iron that would have been or how much stone that would have taken to like break down. So I don't think it's it's too bad. A wrinkle, uh, that's exactly why I went ahead and got an accountant, is because it is, uh, a, it's a tax write-off. So technically, um, any money I, I pay for accountant services and stuff like that, exactly, I can, I can write it off and roll it back into the business. It's, it's, there, there's a lot of little loopholes like that. But at the end of the day, I mean, like, you still have to pay for it, you know what I mean? Like, like that's the one thing that, like... It's not like you don't, it's not like you're getting the service for free because you still have to take the money out of your pocket, but that's just less money you have to give the government at the end of the year. Bitch. Bitch. Got it. So I wonder what you could harvest from these, actually. Let me see. Wait, so do you get raw meat from the... <laughs> From the, uh, scorpion? Are you kidding me, bro? I should build a... Nope, I need rope, don't I? Nope, no, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. And get some fibers. Let's come outside, grab a stick really quick. Bars. That wasn't a stone that I grabbed there. Oh, the pickaxe head is, um, I think for the pickaxe head, you need the blade, right? One good thing, though, is the scorpions in this game are not as dangerous as the spiders in Green Hell. Those things, terrible, chat. Oh, my God, they're terrible. Like, you get bit by this damn spider, or, this, or, or I think there was a scorpion, too. Um, yo, they were so dangerous. So I wonder what the lead ore is used for, because I got a bunch of lead, and I don't even know what the hell to do with it. There 
There we go. Now we're making some progress. Got five so far. I think I needed, what, ten for the... <laughs> for that butcher table, man? Mosa, no, I didn't see another super chat, man. I seen the one about floppy, and that's the last one on my log. Oh, there, yeah, but I see it on here, which is so fucking weird. Mosa, thank you so much, man. Um, maybe do a co-op live stream with floppy and trout sunken uh, land. He just helped a small streamer hit a thousand subs. Um, uh, if you had, I, I, I got merch. Um, Mosa, I do. Yeah. Um, the the, the thing is, I, I would, I would love to do something with floppy one day. I'm, I'm a little, uh like standoffish when it comes to like uh co-op stuff sometimes with certain people because uh it, it all just depends on like what we're doing it for or how we're going about doing it a floppy's a cool dude so i would, I would i'd be okay with doing something with him for sure um but the the thing is is like when it comes to collabs uh people look at it as like helping out uh another content creator like to to, to give them clout or a name or whatever but i know floppy doesn't care about that that's why it doesn't matter um but the second i do a collab with somebody i get like seven hundred thousand dms i mean it's crazy like i did i did one with cryptic fox uh like what two months ago for charity and i can't even explain to you how many people messaged me asking me <laughs> If I would do a collab with them, if I'd give them a shout out, if I'd promote their channel, like it was absolutely insane. I was like, oh my god, I was bombarded. I think the day after, I had like 15 DMs. Yeah, like 15 DMs, and and 90 percent of the people I never even heard of them. I don't even know who they are. Like I'm like, dude, I don't even know who you are. Uh, no, I'm all right, babe. Thank you, though. Now we're not, now we're not getting any chat. I spoke too soon. I was like, yes, we're on a roll, and now I just killed the roll that we were on. Shit. Scorpions are whooping my ass, dude. Seen another one over here somewhere. Now I seen somebody say go check a different cave. Are the different? Is it like different caves give diff, like higher? Ch is there like harder caves that give more iron or, or you know harder like steel or something like that? I'm 
I might give this the stone thing a, 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 a try when we get back, but... I just want to finish out this pickaxe. We'll I hear the drops. It's like a song. It's like bleep, 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 bloop, bleep, 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 bleep. Uh, magic. Uh, uh, do I have any? Advice for you, be shipped out to Army Basic in two weeks. Hey, man, embrace the suck. Keep your head down. Well, you, you know, the best thing you could do when you're in boot or basic is just low profile, man. Try to go under the radar. Because nothing you do in boot camp will, uh, will follow you out of boot. Like, it, it, it's not gonna help, man. Like, you know, some, you get some guys who get in there and they try to be these fucking, these rock stars and they, they, they volunteer for everything. They kiss a bunch of ass thinking like, like, all it's gonna do is get you on more working parties, more details, because the drill instructors are gonna know that they can rely on you for shit. Um, so yeah, my, my advice is always keep your head down, man, low profile. Oh, most I appreciate that. Yeah, we, we got some merch, man. Uh, the wife did a really great job uh, coming up with some ideas there. Okay, so the main reason why I left there is because I uh, ran out of what you would call a pickaxe. But I'm four short. But I'm going to try to do what you guys were talking about. We'll try to see how effective the, uh... Hold on, throw a charcoal on there. How effective the stones can be. So we got those cooking up right now. this to get a damn quiver, man. Yeah, I listen, you know, you get a lot of, like, hard chargers that will volunteer for shit. They're drilling, so I need, I, the, the, that's, the, that's the thing is, sometimes they'll do it just to troll, and, like, it'll be something awesome, but they'll be like, we need three people. You know, you'll have three people instantly run up. I never volunteered for jack shit. You know what I mean? Um, ever. Like, I never, ever, ever volunteered for anything when I was in boot camp. Uh, I just wait to get voluntold. Uh, because w generally when you volunteer for something, it usually sucks. It's not fun or it, it's 
It, it just isn't a good time. Um, but the one thing I did volunteer for is I remembered the b- breakdown of of the Marine Corps boot camp um, like timeline. And there's a certain part of boot camp when you hit third phase where they'll send you over to like the HQ building and like you got to like do some shit in the building over there. And I, I forgot what the name of the week was. Uh, I, I can't remember offhand. It's fucking a billion years ago. Um, but they send you across base and I knew that it was around that time. So I started about that week. I was like volunteering for everything and I got sent on the working party to go across base. But sometimes some of the working parties could actually be really cool. Uh, but sometimes the working parties are service week, service week. Yeah. yeah that's, um, so I, I knew service week like was coming up. So that, that was like when I was like volunteering, but that was only because I did my homework and I had one of the guys, uh, my sergeants that worked at the recruiting station kind of gave me the tips. Hey man, like when you, uh, get around, I think, you know, week nine or whatever, uh, it's gonna be service week. Make sure you guys go and you volunteer for, and, and yeah, so that's what, uh, I did. But other than that, man, hell no, I never volunteered for shit. <laughs> hell, I would wait till they told me to go do it. Because the thing is, is every time you get put on the detail, I don't know why, but I would always go on the detail. It would suck. And then I come back and people are on like weapons maintenance or drill instructor or senior drill instructor square away time or something like that. You come back, they're all just chilling. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck, man? If I would have just not went, I would have been chilling too. Like, But then when they do get put on a detail, then everything you're doing that day absolutely sucks. Okay, so we got food starting to spoil here. We gotta we gotta do something with this. Eggs are good, potatoes are good for a while, the fish is gonna go bad. That already spoiled. Oh no, you guys said I could keep the the spoiled food, right? Use it for crafting biofuel eggs are good for a while and like i said the potatoes are good for a really long time remember to start putting these out man we're just wasting charcoal got put on back uh barracks back door watch overnight for your entire boot camp dude that sounds horrible dude i we had uh fire watch every night there's always there's fire watch every two hours um and there's like a rotation at least that's how it was when I when I was and I don't know if it's changed at all um but yeah there was you had firewatch and um yeah I would always I I didn't mind firewatch honestly it wasn't too bad because like I would like just walk around and um you know just dream about the day I was leaving boot camp and you just kind of get this time to yourself just just walk around with the but yeah you just walk around for like 2 hours Make sure nobody's doing anything stupid. The only the only thing that would suck is when we had somebody on suicide watch. Uh, that was additional to fire watch. So literally, you would what you would do is that, like, uh, it's so fucked up too. When somebody was on suicide watch, you would have to you would have to stand over their bunk with the blue flashlight and aiming at them the whole time. They, they would just stand there for two hours aiming a blue flashlight at them. And then, uh, yeah, you would swap out. Somebody else would come and aim the blue flashlight at them for two hours. Was eight hours? Oh, nah, yeah, man. When I was in, it was uh, every two hours you would, you would swap for fire watch. Okay, so we got to... Decent bit of this. Go ahead and drink this. 
So now the, the meat's going to be good for a while. Yeah, crossbow, one um, one firewood, one rope, one steel ingot. I don't even, I couldn't even imagine how you get steel, though. Okay, so now we're going to do the stone thing that you guys were saying. So... It's going to be a little time consuming because you can't even do... We need more forages for this to be really effective. I'm not, no, I never woke up to the blue flashlight. <laughs> um, I, I, I believe every Marine, uh, when you're in boot camp, at least back in the day, hits their breaking point. Um, where you kind of just like, I can't do this. This shit is like, it, like boot camp when I went, chat, it was hard. You know, I, I, I went back, uh, I, I went to boot camp in 2006. I know Marine Corps boot camp got softer as as time went on um but yeah when i went it was uh it was rough and i remember i hit my i hit my mental breaking point and i was like yo i can't do this this shit is crazy like i can't fucking do this um and i had like a little bit of like a chest cold or something like that and i told my drill instructor that i didn't feel good that morning and you get a you get a sick call slip, so they'll send you to the doctor or whatever to, for sick call. So I told him I didn't feel good because I didn't want to tell him. So as soon as I got to the the doc, I switched it up and I was like, yeah, you know. She was like, what are you here for? And I was like, you know, I've been running lately and I, I feel like I've been having a real hard time breathing, and I I think I have asthma. <laughs> I tried telling him I had fucking asthma chat so I could get sent like home. I was like, I can't do this shit. And, um, yeah, they, they don't, they don't, they don't. She was like, okay, yeah, they documented it and sent my ass right back. And, uh, what happens is you get in trouble, actually, because if you go to sit call for something that you didn't say to the drill instructor, they document it. Uh, the recruit came here for this reason, but then when they got here, they said this. And, yeah, I, I spent the rest of the day. Uh, making myself into a fucking sugar cookie in the sand pits. It was, you got asthma, bitch. You got asthma. <laughs> like, you know, breathe, bitch. Like that literally had me rolling around. You got asthma, bitch. Get up right now. Get down right now. Get up right now. Get down right now. Get up right now. Get down right now. I'm just all fucking day. Just killing me. Breathe, bitch. I sir, I sir, just fucking, <laughs> and that was the last time, the last time I did that. Yeah, but everybody has their, you know, their breaking point. You just, you just mentally, you just like, fuck, dude, I can't do this shit. So. But like I said, when I came out of it, I, I never understood why they were so rough on us, you know, and like they, they, you know, they push you to that point mentally where most normal people just, they just lose their shit. And it's because like, if you can't even take somebody yelling in your face and making you feel uncomfortable and just making you do something you don't want to do, cause that's all it really is. It's not like they can kill you or anything. I mean, in the, in the moment, it feels like they can, they are trying, but realistically they're just pushing you mentally and, and. I, I appreciate everything my drill instructors did because when you're in a combat zone, guys, when you're getting shot at, I, I mean, mentally, you, you got to be mentally tough. And, and if you can't hang, like, the last thing you want is somebody to freaking go catatonic and just stop functioning in the middle of a firefight. And Because now I got to risk my life to get this guy, you know, slapped around or get him out of the way because he just froze up. I can't, I've tell you, there's so many guys that freeze up. And, uh... But yeah, it's just if you if you can't take somebody yelling at you, then you're not you know you're not gonna be able to hang in combat at all. So it's like once you actually once I got into it and I realized I was like, oh okay, like this is why they do it. You know what I mean? Uh, for steel, one lead or one iron. Do you need a special facility to make that though?
need to, we need to get another pick. Uh, you combine it at the anvil. Okay, cool. Shit, well maybe we could just skip the bone arrow and go straight to the crossbow? Uh, cause I'm, uh, we got a decent bit. I got two more ingots here. Why do I keep this two? I do still need the quiver. Yeah, 100%. That's why we're getting the... Uh... But I'm saying instead of wasting my resources making... Uh... More arrows and stuff. Even though I do got those arrows, so I need to kind of shoot them. It'd be really, really shitty to sit there, craft these damn arrows, and then not use them. Drop those in there, and those in there, and those should turn into an ingot, right? Man, you need to have like 10 of these forges going, dude. Six, that'll be seven, eight. Yeah, maybe we'll, uh, so do I got to make a lead ingot or something like that? Or like a lead? Let me see what happens if you put the, uh, um, am I gonna hit 100k before the end of next stream? No, 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 no. We won't hit 100k today, guys. We're 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 uh. Earlier, I was about a hundred and like thirty subscribers away. Uh, right now, I'm. Wow, wow, we got 30 subscribers. That's huge. Uh, I and we're 98 subscribers away. 98 subscribers. Once you get an advanced force, it goes way faster. I literally just spent the whole day today crafting. Now I want to see if you put the lead in there, what that turns into, and then we'll try to see if we can make a steel. A steel ingot, because we only need one for the crossbow, I believe, right? Yep, five rope, one firewood, one steel ingot. And then... What does it take to craft the crossbow bolts? Feather stick, iron fragments. Ooh, so the bolts are a little... more expensive, though. Or should we do a katana? One iron ingot, one uh, in a stick. Yeah, you, you know what? Let's make a katana. Try and help us out with fighting the, uh, the old zombies. Or Vambies. Oh, you need an advanced workbench for... Oh, so I can't even craft it yet. Got it, got it. Yeah, my main goal... Like, right now we're trying to get this uh, this bench out here crafted. So when we, we go hunting with the bow, I can... Uh, We got lead ingots there. Um, so we can go ahead and craft up a uh, a quiver because right now I can't uh, do anything. I don't have a quiver.
Uh, katana. Yeah, I figured the katana would be better than the, the spear we have right now. So. Yeah, I dropped my gun. I, man, there's so many times I'm playing games um, and I'll just be doing like mundane stuff like because this is this is the downside of live streaming compared to being a video maker is if, uh, you know, let's say, uh, you know, Cage or somebody does uh, a video of this game um, or Fooster or somebody like that, they, they'll be playing and then they can edit out all the boring shit that nobody wants to see, you know what I mean? And they'll just skip forward and then boom, they'll show you just doing this, then they'll go out and do this. And it's very, very easy to watch and not boring. Um, but yeah, when you're when you're live streaming, it's all right in the here and now. Like there's nothing you can do about it. I, I can't like fast forward. So yeah, there's plenty of moments where I'm like, dude, like how is, like, am I even gonna do this? Cause nobody wants to watch me doing this shit. <laughs> right, I'll be streaming Starfield for sure. Uh, hopefully, you know, a bunch of you guys come and watch. Like I said, I know there's going to be a lot of people playing the game, so. Uh, but that's generally, like, what I'm doing. Shit out of me. Uh, when I'm doing stuff like this, that's when you'll see me kind of, like, telling stories or... It trying to chat a little bit more with you guys to keep you guys engaged um go two three four five six seven nine and almost done it And that, that's one of the things, too, you know, um, about, like, streaming like this is, it, uh, yeah, like, my, like, granted, it is kind of boring sometimes, you know, it could be like, damn, dude, like, this is pretty grindy. Um, but it does give players a real representation of the game, you know, because if you're watching somebody who's editing out certain parts of the game or aspects of the game, you don't know those aspects even exist. So when you go to play the game, you're like, oh man, you know, I was watching this person play and man, it looks like so much fun. And then you get in, you're like, wait, what the fuck? I gotta wait like two hours for this. You know what I mean? And it's just like stuff you didn't know going into the game. Um, but at least, you know, when people do watch my gameplay, they get the full spectrum. Like, hey, you know, this is the game. And I'm not hiding anything from you guys. Okay, so. Be able to do one more and get right now. I, I killed Bambi's shirt later. No, man, I've never killed Bambi. Bambi was like the little deer with like the, the legs. He couldn't stand up. Like, why, why would I ever do that? Uh, have I thought about a background slash role in Starfield? Of course, Lady X. So I'm going to be playing like, uh, I don't I don't want like an evil playthrough. Uh, but I, I my plan for Starfield is I do want to be more of a like, uh, like a mercenary assassin type of deal like you know like a bounty hunting like mercenary type of deal and i might even dabble a little bit into like piracy uh i'm definitely not gonna be a good guy uh, but i'm not gonna be like a full-blown just like murdering everybody bad guy either but I, I do think i'm gonna go ahead and dabble in piracy for sure um smuggle things because i know they got smuggling in the game so that, that's my goal. Yeah, like a Han Solo type of deal. But, you know, we might kill some people when we raid their ships and steal them.
Okay. I think. So there we go. We got all ten of those iron. Have you thought about background role in Starfield? P.S. I love your stories. But yeah, definitely gonna be playing an uh like an assassin. That's gonna be my 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 goal. Uh, you know, we're gonna go stealth and all that stuff. Okay, so even when you pass time, this stuff doesn't, like, cook overnight. Here we go. So now we got this table done up. Now we gotta go find another... I heard a sheep, so maybe we can go stab that. I'm bad again, dude. The spear is actually not going to last very long. Can you throw the spears in this game? Um, yeah, left control, right mouse. Uh. Should probably craft up a few extra spears. Uh, what, we're gonna go on this hunt right now. fibers was it we're gonna do bone spears three five oh do these need to be on the workbench weapon slot. Well, how do you how do you open up your weapon slot? Is there a way to like store Oh, there's a weapon holder, isn't there? That you can build? Yeah, weapon rack right here. Blank and eight nails. I actually have uh, extra nails. 
Got planks, baby. We got planks for days. Perfect. So now I, I should have two. Yep, two of the bone spears and then one of the normal spears. Let's see. Check our food and water. We definitely need water. Now, I would like to get a fishing pole. That would be a real easy way to, like, start gathering food. But this hunt is for the, uh, the hides. We need animal hides. And feathers. That crow really hopping away, dude. Yeah, that's awesome. The, the goat actually... No one said the kids at the park were so bad. One called Vito. <laughs> really, babe? <laughs> So, well, that's all it took was a little taste of the real world for him. Yeah, so the log cart definitely would be nice for this. Uh, I actually have enough nails to build that now. But we're gonna we're gonna RP walk this back. Our first kill. This is a rite of passage, guys. Uh, did you try breaking the rock with a sh- I- I have not. I- I thought that was like a big, like, environmental rock. That was the only reason why I didn't try to break it. Assault. That's a little, a little on the stiff side. So the cool thing about the goat, though, is when I hit it, it didn't run. It actually came at me, which made hunting it a bit easier. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have a stone axe. Wash our hands, because that's a thing. Well, I'll take you. You can get pretty sick if you don't wash your hands. All right, so let's see what all do we get from that. We got it. We got a hide, um, a bone. We got animal fat, which we could use for the tallow. Um, what do we have to do with the. Workbench. 
Yep, now we can take that Talo along with... five plant fibers and we can make more of those medicated bandages. Five of those and that, boom. Okay, awesome. So now I can craft up uh, medicated bandages. And let's get that uh let's get that cart built really quick. Cuz yeah, that was uh that was a little bit of a struggle. So we need wood logs. Now, do you pull this with a vehicle or do you pull this with your hands? Three logs, ten planks. we go guys <laughs> don't mind getting this chicken too Nice, we got five feathers off that chicken. Almost sound like a fucking like a bear or something. Is that a bear right there? Right there, guys. No way I can take on the bear. I feel like that would be some a really good kill right there if we did pull this off, but
mean, we saved, guys. I really feel like we should go for it. I only got three spears, though. Somebody in chat said four spears to kill a bear. built this way chat I don't know it's hard to explain my man could just pick up the bear like like the goat why right? We should have been be able to run laps with the goat. store up uh, this real quick so we can make a clear inventory Perfect. So we got ourselves a bear. And I want to thank everybody. We've got over 700 likes on the stream. That's so crazy. I really appreciate the love. So that only gave us one hide also. But we only needed the two hides. But it did give us four animal fat. Which we can now turn into more tallow. I can turn into more bandages. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, those aren't even the medicated bandages that I'm crap. I'm such a... So what does it take to make the medicated one? I even have mushrooms too, guys. It's all good. <laughs> all good. Yeah, I, I do have mushrooms. So for the quiver, we needed two rope. go so now we have the quiver uh we add the arrows to it bow and arrow test this out on this goat
grab my wagon. We go grab my wagon. So we don't have to RP walk the goat all the way back. There it was, guys. I'm hoping that that's just as effective against the the zombies or whatever the fuck they're called. Doesn't feel good to kill. Feels good to hunt though. It does feel rewarding. You go out and you get your first your first kill and now you know that you got food. We're sitting here wasting our uh charcoal. Can you not put the Oh, because I got no water in it. Look at all this meat, guys. Oh, about to cook. Problem is, is we kind of overhunted. Um, the issue with that is we're not gonna probably be able to eat all the food before it goes bad. Chris, brother, thank you, thank you for the super chat, man. Uh, thank you for all the good streams you are amazing. I appreciate you, man. It means a lot to me, brother. Hope you're having a great day today. But yeah, we, we I think we overhunted. In the pursuit uh, for trying to get our hands on hides, kind of went overboard. Now, if we had power, we'd be able to do a refrigerator, which would keep our food good for obviously a longer time. But uh, right now, we don't have any. It's raw chicken. Let me see. I don't think there's any. Plant bed, yeah, the fridge. Requires power. And then the... We could do like a wind turbine, but you need cobalt ingots. You need the tech. Yeah, electricity's no joke. Shame though that our freaking food ain't gonna last that long. Solar panel, yeah, we still need the tech for it though. Um, I wish I would have to go hit POIs. I am happy with the bow. Uh, very, very satisfying. Bro 
broke your damn knuckles. Jesus. Man, it'd be hard to even game with broken knuckles. That would be absolutely dreadful. Yeah, guys, we're actually surprised. A lot closer than I thought. Uh, you know, we're getting real close to 100K. Um, yeah, we're like 92 subscribers away. 92 subscribers. Uh, so for all of you guys that subscribed, thank you so much. It really means a lot. So much meat now. <laughs> if you look at my uh, food breakdown, my protein is maxed out because we just we've been eat we have so much protein to eat. But well, all these are only good for about two hours in game, so that kind of sucks. But if I guess if it does go bad, if it spoils, we can just use it for biofuel. Not the end of the world. Uh, can you make a drying rack? I didn't see a drying rack. Oh, there is a drying rack. Yeah, there is a drying rack. And then we could do that. And it'd probably make the food last way longer. But it's too late now. I already freaking cooked all of this. But uh, for future reference, yeah, drying rack would definitely be the way to go. Make a bunch of jerky. <clears throat> hey, hate leads to the dark side. Hey, man, I'm 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 a naturally a Sith Lord. Because they got all the power, man. Like, the Sith are, are, are just the strong ones. There we go. So we got food for actual days. Holy crap. Like legitimate food for days. We got a weapon rack made. Uh, we're making some good progress, guys. We are going to end this episode here, though. I feel we're doing pretty damn well. Uh, again, I want to thank everybody. We got over 700 likes on the stream. I do appreciate it. Uh, I know this one's been a little bit slow. Uh, game is on a little grindier than like you know, say like Sons of the Forest or something like that. Like to get uh, more stuff, you got yeah, actually got to kind of work for it quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, here we are, guys. We're, we're making some decent progress, in my opinion. If you guys want to see more, hey, just smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll keep it going for sure. Uh, but again, thank you so much. It, it means a lot. Uh, but I'm going to be uh, going, eating dinner with the fam, and then uh, we'll be doing one more stream tonight. We'll be checking out that game, uh, Evil West. Uh, you know, we've played a little bit of Red Dead recently, so go try out some evil west and uh see how how that is uh hopefully i'll see a bunch of you guys there but if you haven't on your way out smash that like button if you guys are new to the channel and consider subscribing or if you've been watching the channel for a while and uh haven't decided if you want to subscribe or not a hey, consider it really means a lot so uh you guys have a great rest of your night if i don't see you for everybody else i'll see you in the next one peace